This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Good morning, Arizona. I'm Javier Soto. Here are the latest stories we're following from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. We're learning more about a big outbreak of COVID at the Boys and Girl, Girls Club in Phoenix. 20 people, both campers and staff members, have tested positive for the virus at the Vestar branch. The club expects that number of infected people to go up as more families get their kids tested for the virus. Uh, they are working with the county health department right now for guidance on how to deal with the outbreak. Doctors are concerned, though, because both kids and employees have been wearing masks. What it tells me is that even somebody as fastidious as the Boys and Girls Club have been, you know, that, you know, they're, you know, they're obeying all the distancing protocols, you know, mask protocols, everything, and they still have an outbreak. You know, that, that's something to be concerned about. The club CEO says the entire branch has been closed and will remain closed for the next week. They have a crew going in to deep clean that place so nobody else gets sick. A former Valley superintendent is now facing a long list of criminal charges. Dr. Denise Birdwell was indicted on 18 felony counts, including fraud and conflict of interest. She's accused of pocketing money in exchange for district contracts. She was superintendent of the Higley and Scottsdale Unified School Districts from 2007 through 2018. We've been seeing some active monsoon storms over the past month. Well, now the National Weather Service has a new way to warn you if a storm could damage your property. It's adding a damage threat tag to its severe thunderstorm warnings. The threat will come in three categories with varying levels of damage. The new threat tag will start uh, July 28th. We got a stormy day ahead. Flash flooding is possible in Phoenix and in many spots in Arizona. Be careful out there. Highs only in the 90s today. Uh, there's your seven day forecast right there for more stories and uh, for more interesting content. All you have to do is download the Arizona's Family News app and make sure you subscribe on our YouTube and Roku channels. I'm Javier Soto. Good morning, Arizona.